So in this video we are taking one solved example or we are taking a problem and trying to solve it. The problem statement says in a sample of 200 people 150 like tea, 75 like coffee and 11 like neither. How many people like both coffee and tea? Right. So I'm going to solve it using Venn diagrams. So let me represent the sample of 200 people as universal set and universal set we represent as a rectangle. So let this be the universal set and this is we are going to represent as psi and the cardinal number of psi is equal to 200. Right. The sample size of people is 200. Right. Out of these 200 people 150 liked tea and 75 liked coffee. So let me represent the people who like tea in green and the people who like coffee in orange color. So let me draw two circles. Here let's assume that this is the set of people who liked coffee and this is the set of people who like tea. And the cardinal number of this set C that means the people who like coffee is 75 and the people who like tea that means the cardinal number of this set T is equal to 150 because 150 people like T. And then they are saying that 11 people liked neither, right? So the people who didn't like either coffee or tea are 11 and that number will be written outside these circles which represent the people who like tea or coffee. So 11 will be written over here. And there are 150 people who like tea and 75 people who like coffee. So the total number of people who liked either tea or coffee will actually be the cardinal number of C union T. And the formula we have is the cardinal number of A union B is actually equal to the cardinal number of A plus the cardinal number of B minus the cardinal number of A intersection B. So in this case the people who like either coffee or tea that means T union C will actually be equal to N of T plus N of C minus N of T intersection C. This T intersection C actually represents the people who like both tea and coffee right and we don't know how many people are these right but we know there are 11 people who neither like coffee nor tea so the number of people who like either coffee or tea will actually be equal to 200 minus 11 right and this will be equal to n of t the people who like tea that is 150 plus n of c that means the people who like coffee and that number is 75 minus n of t intersection c these are the people who like both tea and coffee. 200 minus 11 is 189 and this is equal to 150 plus 75 that is 225 minus n of t intersection c. The number of people who like both coffee and tea. Right. So from here we will get t n of t intersection c is equal to 225 minus 189 and this will be equal to 15 minus 9 is 6 11 minus 8 is 3 36 right so the number of people who like both tea and coffee will be 36 and how do we represent in Venn diagrams this 36 will come over here in the overlapping area of both the circles right and the number of people who like coffee will actually be equal to 75 minus 36 so 75 minus 36 is 15 minus 6 is 9 and 6 minus 3 is 3 39 people are there who like only coffee and the people who like only tea will be 150 minus 36 and that will be equal to 10 minus 6 4 4 minus 3 1 and 1 so this will be the Venn diagram representation of this problem where there are 36 people who like both tea and coffee. There are 39 people who like only coffee and there are 114 people who like only tea. Right. And there are 11 people among those 200 people who don't like anything. Right. So this is the Venn diagram representation of the problem and 
one thing which you should notice or which is the checkpoint for these kind of problem is that the number which you have written all over the Venn diagram should total up to the cardinal number of the universal set 39 plus 11 is 50 114 plus 36 is 150 and 150 plus 50 is 200 and that is the proof that our Venn diagram is correct and the answer for this problem the people who like both coffee and tea is 36 right so this is the answer which we were looking for and after this we are going to take few problems based on the complementary sets so keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then